All right, man, are you looking to become a little bit more manly? If so, you gotta watch this video because there's five things that you must be doing in order to become a man or to become even more manly. All right, here we go. Let's get right to it because if you're like me, I don't want any fluff, I don't want any BS. I just wanna get right to the point, the meat and potatoes. So hey, Coach Brian here with Critical Bench and this topic right now is crucial for where we are in culture. And I, the reason why I'm saying this is because if you look around us, men are falling by the wayside. Men are being pushed to the back. Men are not getting the credit that they need in order to achieve great success. Now, this society is overinflated with uh, pushing down masculinity and raising up independence. Now, I'm all for independence, but I'm not for getting rid of men out of the role of manhood. Now, I'm not talking about chauvinistic pigs here, prideful, arrogant a-holes. I'm talking about actual manly men that are, 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 are gonna raise families, are gonna change communities, and are gonna give back until it hurts. These are the men that I'm talking to. So if you're ready to dive in with me, get a pen and paper because you're gonna need some to write these notes down. So, and most men out there, they might be visual. So you might not want to even listen to me. You just want to look at look at these cue cards that I made. And these are going to help you because, hey, all men need all the help they can get. So title of today's topic is how to become manly. It's very simple. All right, starting with number one. See that? Lift heavy. Got a, got a heavy barbell right there. You got to lift heavy. Here at Critical Bench, we believe you're strong by design, made in God's image to have a strong mind, body, and spirit. If you don't have a strong body, you're weak. You can't lead by example if you're weak. You gotta get in the gym, you gotta pound those dumbbells, you gotta hit that iron, and you gotta just grunt and you gotta sweat. Now, the whole reason why we need to lift heavy is because that boosts testosterone. There's too many research studies out there saying that if you lift heavy, it's gonna increase a testosterone spike. It's gonna actually create muscle. And the more muscle you have, the more testosterone that is available to be used. I'm not saying that just because you lift, you're gonna get testosterone. There are testosterone killers out there. And we actually have a report called the seven worst testosterone killers. You can get it by clicking that little banner up there. That's a free report talking about what uh, kills testosterone. But if you lift heavy, I'm talking heavy weight, stuff you can't lift more than five reps. You might need to rest two to five minutes in between each set, but you wanna make sure you're lifting near max effort. Compound lifts, power lifting, Olympic lifting, explosive movements with a lot of weight. That's how you're gonna lift heavy. So that's your number one thing. If you're not in the gym right now, you gotta get in the gym. And hey, we've got so many other videos that I know you're gonna find helpful on muscle building, testosterone boosting, things like that. All right, num number two build something we're, we're made we're made to create we're made to hunt we're made to to just build and explore and just test new boundaries if, if you're not if you can't build a house start with build a table or build a business or build a family build a community build a garden build something we were made to build we're not made to just sit around and uh, just consume we're made to go out and create and produce because that's how society and humanity just keeps going because men and women too i'm not i'm not bashing those ladies out there but us men have to create something if we're not creating anything we're wasting the talent that god has given us so go build something all right let's keep moving oh i like this this is good stuff adventure number three men all right listen up you got to have guy time now, i'm not talking just like sit around drink some beers and have to play some video games i'm talking guy time in the wild outdoors if you've never experienced the high that you get from the top of a mountain looking down at god's creation and seeing wow this is incredible you're totally missing out or if you've never just you know looked on a, a internet site and a internet website it's an inside joke here uh, if you've never just booked a trip because you saw someone else doing it and you just booked a trip saying, hey, I wanna go check out Iceland. I've never been there, don't know anything about it, but I'm gonna book it. That's adventure. Us men crave adventure. We seek the unknown. And it's through those experiences that you will become more, 
the more encapsulated with the surroundings around us. It's a big world out there. And if you're stuck in a nine to five desk job and you're only seeing your computer screen, your steering wheel and the TV when you get home, you're wasting your life. I can't stress that enough. You're wasting your life. Go out and explore. You're actually gonna enjoy it. It might be uncomfortable at first, but who cares? All good things come after something that's uncomfortable. I, what I talk about that is that you get a diamond out of coal, you get a diamond out of fire, being refined, iron sharpening iron. And if you're not exploring and interacting with the world around you by not adventuring, you're missing out. And I'm telling you, adventure is one of those things that just makes you feel like, yes, I feel like chopping down a tree or hiking a mountain or catching a massive sailfish off Costa Rica, stuff like that. All right, let's keep moving. Brotherhood. We're not made to do life alone. We're not an island. Us men are are so consumed with it, me. It's my life. It's, it's what I want to do. It's when I want to do it. But you're not made to be alone. Hey, Jesus even had disciples. Gandhi had followers. Uh, so many people. The president of the United States has a panel around him because they need support. They need accountability and they need inspiration to keep them going. They need support. They need people to to just push them and they need to bounce ideas off each other. And if you're doing adventure, oh, I love this book, Wild at Heart. Uh, such a great book by John Eldridge. It talks about men are being wild, but we're, we're not meant to roam throughout life by ourselves. We're supposed to be in a tribe, a pack, a herd, because there's strength in numbers and uh, we, we just are unstoppable when there's strength in numbers. Here at Critical Bench, we've got an awesome team. We stick around each other, we pray for each other, we encourage each other, we work out together men and women so we need to have that accountability that brotherhood that keeps us together and if one person's down we just quickly grab them and yank them back up that's why brotherhood is so important and the best thing about brotherhood if you've ever been in a fraternity or if you had you know college roommates or you're in school right now and you've got a sport you're on a sports team there's competition competition pushes you to the next level and when you get to the next level you don't settle there you want the next thing you want you want to make a million bucks you're not going to settle at a million. You're going to make two million. Now, I don't want you to get obsessed with com competition. I want you to use competition as a catalyst to get you to the next step to better yourself so you can get into the environment and the community and impact those lives. All right, last one. This one's personal to me. Get married, have kids. All right, so men, if you're in a relationship, you got to get you got, you got to push something else. I don't care if you're scared. I don't care if you're, you're hesitant. At least look at the option of marriage and ask the big questions. Is this someone I want to spend the rest of my life with? If you're stuck right where you are and you're going to think, oh, maybe things will just naturally get better, chances are they won't. I've been married for uh, seven years now, going on eight. I've got two beautiful children. And let me tell you, being married and having kids has has done so much as my as my walk as a man because now I'm the leader of the house. I lead my wife, I lead my children, I support them, I pray for them, I cry with them. I break my back so they can have an awesome and incredible life and they're protected. And if I'm weak, if I'm not lifting weights, if I'm not getting around other men who have been there getting mentorship to help create an awesome marriage and I don't put that, that into practice, my marriage is going to fall apart. My kids are going to be abandoned. They're going to do stupid stuff that's going to get them in trouble. And a lot of the times it's going to come back on the dad, having a, being an absent dad, uh, being an absent husband. These, this is what breaks apart families. This is what breaks apart businesses, churches, organizations, neighborhoods, is when the dad or the man of the house falls apart and gets addicted to drugs, gets addicted to alcohol, gets addicted to work. That's when society crumbles. So men, out there, please, I, I want your information, I want your input, I want your suggestions on what you're doing uh, or what you need help with on how to become more of a man. Now, I, I, I'm 34 years old, I'm, I'm speaking from experience, I'm speaking from all the books that I've read. Craig Ballantyne's Perfect Day Formula, How to Own the Day and Control Your Life. Simon Sinek, Eaters eat, Leaders Eat Last, Why Teams Don't Pull Together and Some Don't. The Resolution for Men, by, uh, it says Kendrick, I forget his first name, but it's from the creators of Fireproof and Courageous, the movie. Chase the Lion by Mark Batterson, incredible book I just finished. Kingdom Man by Tony Evans. Man Up by Bedros Koulian. And 52 Things Sons Need From Their Dads. 
I just finished all these books last year. Incredible material in those books. I'm gonna post links to all these books in the video description area below. I'm telling you guys, man up. It's time that you need to man up. Rise above the rest. Don't settle for the status quo and be what you were created to be. And that is leaders and that is fathers and that is husbands and those are friends. Hey, thanks for watching. Leave your feedback below. I wanna know what you think about this topic. And if you've got a question for me on how I can help you, please let me know. And hey, speaking of uh, a couple different things as far as like testosterone and becoming more of a man, We've got, uh, a, a, like at the beginning of this video, I talked about the seven worst testosterone killers. It's a free report, I, you have to read it. Click right here to read it. Click this box, give us your email, and we'll send you the free PDF right now. And hey, here's another video that I know you're gonna enjoy watching on just more testosterone building. Hey, I'm Coach Brian, I appreciate you watching this video. Have an awesome day and we'll see you soon.